This Etsy store has made over $400,000 selling digital patterns. In this video, I'll show you how to put artificial intelligence to work, unlocking the potential to earn passive income selling digital download patterns. The great thing about this business model is that you can work from home and you don't need any cash to get started. Better yet, because you're selling digital downloads, once your store is set up and running, the income is largely passive. So let's take a closer look at some of the popular digital patterns that this store sells. This gentle leaf collection alone has made around $5,387. And these boho digital patterns, around five grand. So you can see that there's potential to grow this side hustle into a six figure work from home business. Now using AI, we can generate similar patterns in under one minute. This means that you can very quickly build a store with hundreds or even thousands of digital download patterns for sale. Unlike physical products, overheads are low. You can expect to take home around 90% profit after Etsy takes their transaction and payment processing fees. Of course, if you want to get found, there's also advertising expenses. I'll talk more about this later. To get started, we'll use a text to image generator. The most well known is Midjourney. The images it produces are stunning, but you will need a subscription to use it. For this side hustle though, I want to keep cost to a minimum. This makes it accessible for everybody. So let's use a free text to image generator called Leonardo.ai. Head to Leonardo.ai and I'll show you how to sign up. Enter your email address and click count me in. Now it will ask you to join a discord, but you can skip this step. Head back to their homepage and click launch app. Now click on sign up, then yes, I'm whitelisted and now sign up. Once you enter your details and confirm your email, you can log into the dashboard. So now that we're in a dashboard, we can view some recent creations. There's one really great feature about Leonardo that makes it simple for beginners to generate quality images without having to learn a bunch of text prompts. So let's use this search bar to search for a particular kind of image. I want to create a pattern similar to what I showed you earlier. So let's type in leaves pattern. Now you can simply scroll through and find an image similar to what you would like to generate. I like this one, so I'm going to click on it. Now you can see that Leonardo shows you the text prompt that was used to generate this image along with all the settings that were used. Now you have two options that make your life really easy. First off, you can click Remix. This will copy the text prompt and all the settings that we used to generate the image. Or you can use Image to Image. This will not only use the text prompt and settings, but will also copy the image as a reference so you can generate something almost identical. So let's use Image to Image. Now you can see it's automatically filled in all the settings. But before you click generate, let's go over a couple of important things. Number of images will set how many images Leonardo generates each time. So let's set this to two. Now it's generally best to keep the image size at 1024 by 1024 and then upscale it later. Now if you come down to where it says tiling, you want to make sure that this is switched on. This will tell Leonardo to generate a seamless pattern, which is what we want for most of the images that will sell on Etsy. Down here you can see it's loaded the image as a reference file. This slider controls how closely Leonardo preserves the reference image. If you slide it all the way to the right, it'll generate exactly the same image. But we obviously don't want this, so we'll bring it back down a little. Now we can click generate, and in around 15 seconds Leonardo will give us two images. If you like any of the images, the next step is to upscale them. You can do this by clicking on the image. Then upscale the image by clicking this button on the right. Now you can select the upscaled image using this drop down menu. It'll show you all the different versions you've created. So I ran this a few times and you can see that the images I've generated are very similar to the ones selling well on Etsy. And of course, you're not limited to leaves patterns. You can generate anything you want. Tacos, strawberries, robots, animals. Anything is possible. So before we list this file for sale, there's a few things I want to show you. Let's say you want to change the colors, the saturation, or edit out any mistakes that Leonardo has made. You can do all this using a free photo editor called PhotoP. Open the file and let's adjust the colors. Select layer, new adjustment layer, hue, saturation. Now you can adjust the saturation to taste and adjust the colors using the hue slider. Now let's edit out this blemish using the spot healing brush. Then export the image as a JPEG ready for use. So at this point your image is perfectly usable, but we want to take things a step further. Let's use AI to upscale the image even more. This will allow customers to make larger prints, which ultimately gives your patterns more uses. And more uses equals more sales. Google Nightmare AI Upscaler and click this link. You'll need to sign in with GitHub to use this, but setting up an account is free and easy. So here's an example of a pattern I made 10 times larger. 
You can see as I zoom in, the file contains a lot more detail. And this file can now be printed at around one meter wide at 300 DPI, which is overkill, but I'm showing you what can be done. The most obvious place to sell these patterns is on Etsy. The site receives around 400 million visitors every month, and the average Etsy store makes around $45,000 a year. So let's go to where the customers are. Even if you don't end up making 10 or 20 grand like some of the more established stores, it makes sense to sell on Etsy because the buyers are already there. The main downside to selling on Etsy is that it will cost you 20 cents for each listing you post. This means you'll need a tiny bit of cash up front and if you don't make any sales, you will be out of pocket a little bit. Now I'm gonna post a link in the description that'll give you 40 free listings to help you get started. Now when you first start selling on Etsy, you'll probably struggle to get sales. This is where Etsy ads come in. You'll notice when you search for a product on Etsy, the top four results say ad by Etsy seller. Etsy ads are reasonably cheap and you can run them to get your products in front of people and grow your store. Now, of course, this will eat into your profit, but it may be the kickstart that your store needs. So it's super easy to set up these Etsy ads in your shop manager. Just click on marketing, then Etsy ads. The way it works is that you set a daily budget. Etsy uses this budget to place your products high in the search rankings. It's a pay per click system, so you only get charged when a potential customer clicks on your product. Now, you don't need to run ads, but it can help you get sales and reviews quicker than if you relied upon organic search results alone. I won't show you how to upload and sell products on Etsy, but if you would like a full tutorial, let me know in the comments. So Etsy isn't the only platform where you can sell these digital products. Print on demand sites like Redbubble and Society6 allow you to sell the art that you produce on high quality products. You upload your art and select the products that you would like to sell. When a customer places an order, the supplier prints your art on the product and sends it directly to the customer. They then pay you a percentage of the sale. I've uploaded this pattern and you can see that it's not gonna work on all products. It doesn't work on t-shirts for example, so I'll disable them. But it works extremely well on products like phone cases, mouse pads, pillows, and even mugs. It's simply a matter of going through and enabling any products that your pattern looks good on. Now that your store is set up, let Redbubble do the rest. Now I have to tell you that the margins will be a lot lower for print-on-demand products. To make matters worse, Redbubble have recently taken a larger cut of people's earnings. So I wouldn't expect to make a lot of money using print-on-demand, but you may as well have the art working for you in as many ways as you can. So I've shown you how much some Etsy stores are making selling digital download products. I can't guarantee you'll reach this level, but even if you only achieve a small fraction of what they have, it may be enough to make your financial life just that much easier. Every dollar helps in the path to financial freedom and I wish you all the best on that journey. Now, if you'd like more ideas for making money with AI, you need to check out this video. Stay well and I'll catch you soon.